Okay, G2 learners, my name is Ms. Hanin and I'll be giving you visual art. That means you just you theme free. How we organize ourselves. In this theme, we will be talking about the related concept movement and art. So I want you to move. Let's see what moves in art. We will use our thinking skills to make unexpected or unusual connections between ideas and the objects you will be creating. Let's be introduced to you the element of our lines. And everything starts with a line, of course. But before we start, we need to look around us. There are a lot of types of lines around us, which as you might see on your left, different types of lines, such as straight line, broken line, zigzag, wavy, curve, spiral. These are all types of lines. But where can we find them around us? Can you find anything around you, KG? Oh, yes, you found a door. The door is straight. So a straight door is an example of lines. And it has a straight line. If you look at your right, the right images, they contain the first one is water. What kind of lines do you see? Do you see wavy lines? Yes, if you did, that's true. Let's see the second photo on your right. Oh, this is wind. What kind of line have they used? Have they used zigzag, wavy, or curved, or spiral? or straight or might be broken think for a moment yes it's true it's spiral we will learn about how lines in an artwork can make a movement let me introduce our artist vincent van gogh if you look at the right, what kind of movement do you see in his artwork? Yes, it's true. You see the wind on your right. And the picture in the middle, what movement do you see? You can see water, water that is moving. Using what kind of lines? They both use different types of lines. The first artwork, they used straight and curved lines. The second artwork, they used curved and spiral lines. Things you will see during art, we also gonna use scissors, glue, rulers, colors, we're going to use cardboards. I can't wait to see you, KG2 learners.